Ford changed its stance on Tesla's battery production strategy, which its executive earlier said has no advantage. Of course, it was a different executive. The new executive of Ford thinks differently of Tesla's battery production strategy. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Joey Klender from Tesla Radi has some details. The story apparently was uh, broken by Reuters. Uh, Joey says Ford Motor Company CEO Jim Farley has flipped his company's stance on whether it will produce electric vehicle battery cells for its electric cars. After previous CEO of Ford, Jim Hackett stated that Tesla's strategy to produce its own lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles had no advantage. That was a quote, no advantage. Farley, after that, the current Ford CEO, Farley seems to recognize the positives of manufacturing battery cells and says it is quote unquote absolutely interested in utilizing the same methods as the world's leading electric automaker has so referring to tesla so in other words ford is recognizing the tesla's strategy that you need to produce your own electric vehicle batteries and not only depend on other battery producers mercy farley was speaking during a recent automotive conference hosted by reuters when he was asked about ford's strategy for sourcing batteries and battery cell materials after question that pointed toward ford's potential to produce its own battery cells instead of sourcing them from third-party suppliers like cattle sk innovation or uh, Panasonic or LG Chem. To that, Farley replied saying, absolutely, we are discussing it as a team. End of the quote. If Ford is going to build its own battery, it's it's kind of way beyond uh, behind Tesla and needs to do a lot of work, not only producing batteries, but also sourcing battery materials. You know how Tesla uh, securing battery cell minerals have been big news in the media. And, uh, and Tesla has secured a lot of that lithium, iron, so on, nickel. And around the world now, talks are going with Indonesia. Uh, Ford has to start all over to supply uh, minerals for its battery production. Now, one might think that Ford would wait to see how its first electric vehicles do in terms of sales, figures, and demand. But Farley believes, uh, Joey Klender notes, that Farley believes that there is enough evidence to begin discussing the matter now. Here is what he said. We think that it's a natural time now because our volume is really growing, he said. He's probably referring referring to um, Ford's uh, electric vehicle volume. And he's right, because uh, if uh, electric vehicles are the future, all the companies are announcing that in several years they will have fully switched everything to electric vehicle production. Uh, also, some governments and states are already having uh, resolutions and laws passed that you cannot sell gas car in that government, in that uh, country or in that state after a certain number of years, let's say by uh, 2035, 2030 or so. So whether you're selling electric cars or no, if you want to be relevant in the, in the car market, you have to start building electric cars. And uh, speaking of that, I don't know what Toyota is thinking because it hasn't done anything serious yet, uh, especially in the United States um, uh, market. Uh, now, Earlier, they had said that Tesla's battery strategy has no advantage. Uh, Ford CEO has earlier said that Tesla's battery st strategy will not be adopted by legacy automotive company Ford because Jim Hackett, the company CEO, says there is no advantage in migrating capital into owning a cell manufacturing facility. During Ford's quarter to 2020 earnings call in late July, Morgan Stanley's Adam Jones asked about the company's strategy to produce EV batteries 
batteries in-house and that was the answer but now Ford's strategy is changing uh, Joe Wicklander also notes that with Ford announcing the most recent addition to its planned fleet of electric cars last Thursday when it introduced the e-transit van it now has plans to produce three all electric vehicles as the Mustang Mach E and the E Ford F-150 pickup joined the van. So E Transit van, Mustang Mach E and electric Ford F-150 truck. Great additions, great cars, looking forward to it. Ultimately, the decision to produce its own battery cells in one of its production facilities will bring down costs as sourcing materials and building the batteries will cut expenses. However, Farley is much more interested in avoiding supply constraints instead of worrying about the price. Here's what he said. There is a lot of other reasons beyond cost to make a move. He uh, Farley adding during the conference, added during the conference, referring to the move to build its own electric vehicle batteries for its own electric vehicle batteries, just like Tesla. Admitting that there is there is not a lot of flexibility to increase capacity from third party uh, third party suppliers for batteries, Farley said, according to CNBC, Ford may be expecting a more committed move toward electrification. As more automakers plan to enter the EV market, many companies will likely source their electric vehicle batteries from suppliers like Panasonic, uh, Cattle and so on, making less available and thus increasing the cost. If the battery demand goes up, that means the batteries will be less available and the battery cost will go up. The supplies may, be, uh, they have, may have difficulties as well. This is why if you are serious about electric car making, you should think about strategy to build your own battery factory and factories because you will need them in huge quantities in the next 10 years. Now, this will likely force car makers to increase their vehicles prices if the battery prices because of demand goes up making electric vehicles less affordable across the board for consumer cons uh, consumers in the future this is why you need to build your own battery so you can have some type of control over the battery prices but if the if everybody turns to electric batteries the mineral prices will go up and again there will be some constraints on electric uh, on electric vehicle battery costs and the cost of electric vehicles but who knows maybe some other um, uh, strategies uh, findings research will come up to lower the cost and come up with creative ways to make electric vehicles more affordable for everyone as tesla is working on that regularly we see the uh, tesla cuts the prices of its uh, vehicles and services now being one of the biggest car companies globally ford would likely see see more advantages than disadvantages if it decides to create its own battery cells not only would it see lower prices from their batteries and cars, but it would avoid the supply constraints, which would inevitably delay the production of uh, delivery vehicles. Uh, Joey Klender also notes that this is not the first time a legacy car maker has first criticized Tesla only to reverse their stance later on. General Motors once stated that Tesla was graveyard bound because of its production strategies. A few years later, GM drew inspiration from a million mile battery cell similar to what Tesla has chased after several years. So friends, let me know what your thoughts are on these developments. Do you think um, Ford will eventually build its own battery factory? I think Ford will, uh, Ford will do. I don't know where it will do, but I'm assuming that Ford's first battery factory will be in the United States. And um, since Ford uh, mentioned that... Uh, uh, Farley mentioned that uh, the uh, first of all the primary um, concern of Ford building its own batteries is not the price but the, to make sure the supplies go smoothly I think the Ford may build its first battery in the Dearborn Michigan area or you know close to its main headquarters uh, main plants may or maybe in, elsewhere in the United States but you see there already Ford and GM all are following the Tesla strategy and uh, we, 
another part of Tesla strategy that I would like you to uh, kind of pay attention is that when Tesla started producing uh, Model 3s in Giga Shanghai in China, Tesla said that they will bring the cost of the cars produced in China down um, by localizing the supply, by localizing the supply. In this time, uh, in, in our times where things can be easily disrupted because of the virus and things like that, it's very important that you make sure your supply is close by, close to your um, uh, uh, plant and you are not disrupted because of virus, because of lockdowns and things like, th like this. And this is one of the main changes we see in the automotive or any other major industry. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are for the GM following Tesla strategy and um, that legacy automaker first criticizing Tesla and then reversing their stance later on. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Uh, like this video, please. That helps us tremendously. And ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And I have another report coming later on. See you soon, friends. God bless you and peace be with all of you. Take good care of each other.